This is lesson 30 step functions, our warm up uh, to evaluate. This is the value of our function at 2, uh, the value of our function at negative 4, the value of our function at 0. And so what we're, what we're doing is we're going to substitute in. So we're going to substitute, we're going to take our this equation, we're going to substitute in our value of our function in for x. So we're, these are input values. So we say 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 minus 7 is negative 1. So the value of our function at 2 is negative 1. When we input a 2, we get out a negative 1. That's also an xy value. When we input a f negative 4, 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Negative 12 minus 7 is negative 19. So we input a negative 4. We get out a negative 19. When we input a 0, 3 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 7 is negative 7. When we input a 0, we get out a negative 7. more questions we'll do in class. And this is lesson 30 step functions. So a little 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 review here but this will help us with today's lesson. Um, how would we graph? Um, this would be x values that are less than or equal to 5. Well we know when whenever we have if we had x equals 5 right where are all our x values equal to 5 that makes a vertical line so that's the same exact graph that we'd make here because we have the equal sign so we use a solid line and now we're talking about x values that are less than 5 so we'd graph or so we'd shade the left side of this line same thing here except we don't have the equal sign so we would use a dashed line at 3 and we're greater than, so we'd shade the right side of this line. So evaluating functions, and so uh, this if statement that we have out here is a constraint. So what that means is that uh, we have a couple different options. If we're, our input here for our first one is negative 5. So if with an input of negative 5, which one would satisfy our if statement? Is negative 5 less than 3, or is negative 5 greater than or equal to 3? Well, negative 5 is less than 3, so that means that we'd use this function to evaluate negative 5. So we'd use this function and substitute in a negative 5 for x. So I'd say negative 5 minus 5 and then this is just like our warm-up so negative 5 minus 5 is negative 10 so that's the point negative 5 negative 10 when we in input a negative 5 we get out a negative 10 negative 2 well which one would negative 2 satisfy that would be the top one as well because negative 2 is less than 3 so we'd substitute in a negative 2 and we'd say negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. So that's negative 2, negative 7. Our next one is 0. 0 is also less than 3. So we'd substitute in a 0. 0 minus 5 is negative 5. So that would be the point 0, negative 5. Our next one is a 3. Well, 3 isn't less than 3. 3 is equal to 3, so we'd use this bottom equation. So we'd substitute in a 3 into that bottom equation, so 2 times 3 plus 1. 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 plus 1 is 7. So that would be the point, an input of 3 and an output of 7. And our last one, 6. Well, 6 is greater than 3, so we'd use the bottom equation here. 2 times 6 plus 1. 
2 times 6 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. So that's an input of 6 and an output of 13. And then uh, graphing a step function. So step functions are the same thing except for now our our constraint or our if statement is saying that we want this is for all x values between negative 2 or greater than or equal to negative 2 and less than 1. So I'll show you what we're going to do. So we would graph this first one would be f of x equals negative 1. So that's the same as y equals negative 1. Function form and slope intercept form. So they mean the same thing. f of x equals negative 1 and y equals negative 1. So what does y equal? Well earlier we did when x is negative 1 that would be a vertical line at negative 1. So when y is negative 1 that would be a horizontal line at negative 1. But now our constraint or our if statement says that we only want the values of x from negative 2 to 1. So what I do is I go in here and I erase everything from negative 2 to 1. And these are x values, negative 2 to 1. And now I look back at my if statement and I say we've got an equal symbol here. So we're going to use a closed circle just like we do when we graph and we don't have an equal symbol here so we have an open circle here. Our next one f of x equals negative 2 so what would that? That would be just a horizontal line here but our, const or our if statement says that we want x values that are greater than or equal to 1 and less than 3 so I need to erase everything that's not greater than or equal to 1 on my x-axis and less than or equal to 3 so that goes from here to here we see we have the equal symbol here at 1 so we go up, use a closed circle and no equal sign at 3 so we use an open circle our next one f of x equals negative 3 and we're st we should be starting to get the idea that would be a horizontal line here but our, cons or our if statement says we want values that are greater than or equal to 3 and less than 6 so we erase everything from 3 and outside of 6 we've got the equal symbol so we go solid circle closed circle and we don't have the equal symbol, so an open circle. And our last one, f of x equals negative 4. That would be this line. But our if statement says we just want from 6 to 8. So we erase everything except for from 6 to 8. Again, we've got the equal symbol, so we go close circle. And no equal symbol, so we go open circle. Now, we've got uh, some questions. If I said, what's the value of my function at 2? So what you do is you'd say, well, where, where, would, where would my lines be at 2? And we can see that our lines at 2 when x is 2 well I've got this point right here which is 2 2 sorry not 2 2 2 negative 2 so the value of my function at 2 is negative 2 what would be the value of my function at 4 the value of my function at 4 would be 4 negative 3. So the value of my function at 4 is negative 3. And where this gets tricky is what if I said what's the value of my function at 1? And the value of my function at 1 we can see well which one do I go to? 
and hopefully you guys are saying oh I go to the closed circle one because that has the equal symbol because this one goes right it's actually going right up to one just short of one it but then at one we're actually down here at negative two so what's my function at one one is negative two we could do another one what's our function at six well at six we go to the closed circle so the value of my function at six would be six negative four so we always go to the closed circle because that's where the equal to symbol that's how step functions are still functions because they pass the vertical line test remember the vertical line test if we draw a vertical line we can only go through one point and still be a function well this is how we get around that is we're not equal to one here where do you go just short of one so this is one negative two this would be three negative three six negative four and our homework is homework 30